Okay, so today is what? February 21st, okay. Um, today I'm gonna go down through business hours, how to hit success club, daily to-dos, and just keeping things simple, okay? So, as far as business hours, you guys need to have a planner of some sort, okay? I know this sounds super basic and whatnot, but just base one off of how detailed you need things to be. I will show you two examples. Let me grab it real quick. Of planners that you can use and that I have, okay? So one is just the black one. I got this at Target. It was $6.99. This is very basic. All It's just lines. But I put in all of my trackers, okay? So all these sticky notes have, it's like follow-ups. And then my tally marks for how many I've done. Invites, how many invites I've done. So that at the end of the week, I can look back through this and look and see, okay, so clearly Tuesdays and Thursdays are the days where I'm not getting my invites in. So every other day of the week, I'm going to bust my ass to do my invites, knowing that I typically don't do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So on those days, what I'm going to do instead is friend requests following people on Instagram, sending out like birthday messages and thank you messages for liking my posts. Things I don't have to really think about. I put a lot of time and I think too much sometimes about my invite. So I know that that's where I need to be focusing my open days is on my invite. So in my day-to-day -day planner, mine is broken down by 30 minutes. Okay. And it starts at 530. And it goes the whole way down to 10. So that I can break that off if I'm doing a power hour to do 30 minutes of follow-ups, 30 minutes of invites. Okay, so just find something that works for you. And the best way to do that is Pinterest or YouTube Beachbody Coach Planners. Some stay-at-home mom, some Beachbody blogger has written a whole thing about what planner is best to use based on your personality. Um, I do have something I'm going to be giving away as a gift for the end of the month. So if you guys watched the pinned video that I have now in our team page, I said that if by the end of the month, who has ever shared their completed to-do list the most and has hit success club, I am giving away something worth $50. It's really awesome and it is all for your business. It's going to be a huge game changer. You definitely want to win this. Um, so having a planner is number one. So basically to figure out what are your business hours. This isn't rocket science, guys. You go through on Sunday or Saturday and you fill in when you work during the week. And then fill in everything else. Whether you have to run to the post office, you're going to go grocery shopping, you're going to clean the kitchen, you're going to go to a friend's house for drinks and whatnot. This is how you tackle time management. This is how you find all that free space in your life. And of course you can still have a spontaneous life, but you know, maybe save that stuff for the weekends and just, you know, you have to let your friends and family know right now I have big goals. So in the short term, no, I'm not going to be able to just randomly meet you for happy hour on a Tuesday because I'm planning to do it a power hour then, but give me a year and a half and I'll fly you to Hawaii to come visit me winky face or something, you know, just let people know that this is what you're doing. So that's why you want to set those business hours. Um, <clears throat> another thing, okay, so for business hours, the reason you guys want to be doing that obviously is so that when you get to the point that you are leading a team, you can say to them, okay, guys, this is when I'm working. You can contact me during these hours. If you do it now, you are going to save yourself so much time and stress in the long run. Okay, so even if you're only working one hour a day right now, that's okay. But business hours are important, especially for the people in your life right now. Whether they support you or they're not supportive, especially, that's why you need to have business hours. You cannot be sitting on your couch at 10.30 at night on your phone, scrolling through it, Instagram, while you know your significant other or your kids or whatever are next to you. That's not focused business time. That's just you scrolling through anyway, okay? So you want to show the people in your life that, yes, social media is for fun for most people. It still is for me to a point, but when I'm on it, I'm doing that when I'm working, not when you and I are spending time together. Um, and then it really is just this mindset thing. Once you find a consistent schedule that you are doing every single week, what's going to happen is 
your confidence is going to skyrocket, okay? Because you're gonna find how to be productive, how to be effective in the time that you have. And when you do that, you're gonna build up that momentum. You're going to become addicted to inviting, to following up with people, to wanting to work. And then what happens is you fall in love with this business even more because you don't feel overwhelmed by having to work in all of your open free spot or all of your open pockets of the day because you know when your business hours are. So play around with it, change things up week to week until you find what really works for you. When I say biz hours, biz hours though, I am including Saturdays and Sundays. I do want you guys and definitely suggest that you take a day off of coaching. Even in that day off though, the non-negotiable is need to get your workout in, AKA be proof of the product, posting so that people still know that you're around and alive, because health and fitness is still there on the weekends. Um, and best one, showing up in our challenge group. Those three things you definitely need to do. Okay, but that together would take you 30 minutes tops. Um, so that's the importance of business hours. If you wanna send me a few ideas, if you wanna send me your schedule to hold yourself accountable, you can do that. If you wanna take a picture of your weekly planner showing when you're working on your nine to five, when you're working on coaching, when you're working out, when you're grocery shopping, spending time with your boyfriend. I literally have been time in my planner. I flip my phone over, I turn it on silent, I don't look. I don't. Um, if you wanna do that to hold yourself accountable, totally do that. I'll reach out to you and say, hey girl, did you power hour today from five to seven? Because you said you were gonna do that on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Because even if you aren't, it's like that, oh yes, I did say that, I'm gonna get on now and do it even if you don't only have 15 minutes left, who cares? It's just that little reminder for you. So hitting success club at the beginning of the month. This is so important. I believe that all of us can do this by the 10th to 15th of every single month if you're following this method. So what I would suggest that you do on February 27th, okay? So that would be next Monday. Let's just say February 26th, so this coming Sunday. Sit down and spend 25 to 30 minutes writing down a list of names that you can invite. I'll tell you how I do that in a second, where I get those names from and why you're doing this. The reason you wanna do this is so that when you sit down to work for that first week of the month, you know that everyone on that list you can invite. Not following up, not thanking them, not catching up or anything like that. You're at the point in that message where you can invite them. This can be to a free group, a challenge group, if you've invited multiple times to a challenge group at this point, and, but you think they'd be great at coaching, a coaching invite, um, or a coffee date, meeting up in person, a phone call, anything like that. Talking about either coaching or challenge group of some sort, that's an invite. So when you can do that and get off 50 to 100 invites in that first week, you will hit success club. Even if it only ends up being that you sell one challenge pack, that's going to be your momentum and your motivation to push harder so that you will hit it by the 15th. Okay? So the nice thing about doing that also is it saves you time. I feel like sometimes we can sit down at our computer and it's like, I don't know who to invite. Like you might have a tracking system, but still it's like, I don't really have anyone to invite right now. Like I don't know who I'm talking to, whatever. It happens to me all the time. You're not the only one that this happens to. Okay, but that's just when you need to calm down, take a deep breath, and just think to yourself, this is so simple, okay? Even if it means that you're gonna take 20 minutes out of your power hour to write down just a straight list of names that you can just invite, that's going to save you hours throughout the month of those, I don't know who to invite moments, scrolling through, uh, maybe I can, uh, maybe it's too soon. No, none of that thought process, just invites. How do I find those people? I will go back, so for March, for example, I will go back to December, I'm sorry, November, December, and January. So not February, but November, December, and January. And I will go through and pick out my top posts, meaning the most liked photos that I shared or posts that I shared on my page. And I will go through those people's names. I will pick up, look through our messages to see what was the last thing we talked about. If I can invite them, I write their name down. And what I mean by if I can invite them, if I've invited them before and they never responded, I can invite them. It's been months now, it's time to invite. Um, 
if you invited them, you sent, you asked about their goals, they responded, but then they never got back to you after that. If they were supposed to order, you sent them all the details, they never responded, invite them. If they said that they already have their own routine, they're following something, they like going to the gym, talk to them about coaching. Hey girl, I know it's been a couple months since we last talked. Um, I just wanted to stop in, wish you an awesome week. Also, I totally respect that, you know, maybe having your own fitness routine, you know, isn't really on your radar right now, but I really think that you'd be awesome at what I do. I know we hadn't really talked about that yet, but I was wondering if I sent you a little video about why I became a coach and why I think you'd be so great at it, would you be open to watching it? So simple. Just if I would you. Every sentence or every invite ends with that. Um, so that's the first way that I find those people. I go back a couple months ago and look at all of my posts that were the top posts and I reach out to those people. But I only write down the people's names I can straight up invite. So say if it's somebody that you sent a hey girl to and they never responded, skip them. Don't write their name down. You will find them eventually. Okay? That's one way. The second way is I literally open my Messenger app and I go the entire way down the alphabet, and I pick three to five names from each letter. That's all I do. So I pick three to five people from the letter A, three to five people from the letter B, three to five from C. And when I click on them, I make sure that we're at the point that I can invite them. Or hell, say if even we just said, hey girl, they were super friendly and responded, oh my God, this is so awesome, thanks so much, hope you're having a great day too. Even if the conversation left at that, Invite them to a free group. Why not? It's a free fucking group. They're on free Facebook. Why not invite them to a free group? They're already being added to them by Lulu Row or Lula, whatever that's called. Row people anyway. You're asking them if you can add them, not just getting added. Okay, they're going to appreciate that. It's like, yeah, cool. Like, you were nice when you reached out. This free thing, sure, whatever. You seem like a positive person. I'll do it. Then from there, Keep talking to them, ask them what they liked about the group. If they're participating, if you're tagging them in the free group post, at the end of the free group, reach out to them. Hey girl, I loved having you in the group. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Um, do you have any tips and suggestions for the next time I run this? I'd love to hear that. Um, and just moving forward, because I feel like we get along really well, I actually run even, I run, um, you can say like these accountability groups for you know young women or young girls who or where you can have your own workout program, a meal plan, and support from people all around the country. If you love this group, I know that you would kick ass in my accountability group. If I send you a few details about it, would you be open to talking more about this? If they already said yes to the free group, they're gonna say yes to the challenge group, okay? So that's the second way. The third way that you can do it is, I just scroll through my newsfeed. I scroll through my newsfeed and I think about people that I might have forgotten about or people that I might not have ever reached out to before. But again, I only write down 50 to 100 names of people I can straight up invite. Okay? In that mix, if you're a new coach or if you're a coach that has been too afraid to reach out to family, friends, extended family, and anybody on the Beachbody Memory Jogger, you can find that by just going to Google and just typing Beachbody Memory Jogger. Um, and in there, it's going to talk to you about like your hairdresser, high school professors that you might've had, um, maybe like your sports coach, um, somebody that you used to babysit for an old neighbor, an old babysitter, um, maybe like a sister of one of your friends or something along those lines. Think about all these people right now is the time that people want to get into shape guys. Spring break's coming. April's going to be here before we know it. The biggest thing that you need to be doing right now is sending those invites Going for no, you know, if you guys haven't read that book yet, going for no is basically talking to you about instead of trying to go for yeses, try to go for 30, 20 to 30 no's a day or no responses. Because if you do that, when you get that yes, it's like, fuck, yeah, I got it, right? And that's what keeps you going. So it's actually a book called Go For No. We um, were all about that when I was in Mary Kay. Um, but the biggest thing, too, is when you're inviting them, you want to be excited. You want to be excited about what you're doing. So how, are, how do you get excited about what you're doing? One, you need to be following a workout program. I don't care if you want to be in the gym. That doesn't matter. Go to the gym and work out. But you can still follow a Beachbody program. You might not do it every single day, but 
if it's every other day, every three days, and you're following the calendar, that's all that matters. You know, if you want to do something like YouTube it. Right now, I'm putting together every morning, I wake up 10 minutes before I start my miracle morning, and I'm videoing myself. I'm recording myself through Zoom, and I'm uploading that to YouTube so that I can connect with people over this miracle morning 30-day challenge. You know, find your little niche. I'm a morning person. People reach out to me all the time about morning tips. Figure out what your niche is. Like, um, Julie, if you're still listening, if there's a really cool show called Hack My Life, Ben and I love it. Um, if you ever watch it, I think it's like on True TV maybe. Um, and today they were talking all about how to get crayon off of your walls with kids drawing on them. Okay, so they had like these three moms come in, try out their different at-home hacks, and it was really cool. So what you could do is like put together a YouTube series about like just little tips and tricks around the house. Something that might not pertain to health and fitness, but remember, at the end of the day, you are Sam, you are Mary, you are Julie, you are not beach body. You just happen to do it. You happen to do other things too. Tie those things in. So. When you're talking to people, you can be excited by, you're actually following a program. You're feeling good about it. You can tell them what it's like, how it's changing you, okay? Um, you know, how, what else are I gonna say? Make sure that you are. So one of the biggest things that I think is really, really important is that you guys know when to post call to action posts. So this is a big deal, especially for hitting success cup. You want most of for the first 15 days of the month, you want to heavily focus on your invites. So you can hit success club early on and just maybe talk to those people and overcome their objections throughout the rest of the month. Okay. Because I know my niche market takes about two weeks to think about everything and order after we've talked about everything. So it takes a total of three weeks because I know then that first week it might've been payday, but we didn't get to the end of our conversation yet. So in the following week, once we're done, it's not payday anymore. So now that money's kind of like, eh. So then that following week, they'll order. That's three weeks it takes my niche market to do that. And I know that. So that's why right now, to try to hit Success Club early for March, I'm posting my meals. I'm posting my workout videos. I'm posting about my coaching opportunity. Okay? Make sure, even if I don't plan out all of my posts. I do not do that anymore. It's way too time consuming. And it's not as authentic anymore, okay? Um, however, I do plan out when I'm going to do my call to action posts, when I'm going to talk about a challenge group, when I'm going to talk about the coaching opportunity. And the reason I do that is to make sure that the day after I post that call to action, I put it in my planner to send out thank yous and invites. If you post a call to action post, you are inviting all of those people the next day. Hey girl, I just want to come stop by. Thank you so much for liking my photo yesterday about my meals, of my workout video, of my progress photo, whatever. I'm having so much fun on this program. I just can't help but want to share it with good vibing people like yourself. I'm not sure if you're working on any goals right now, but if I were to offer you a fun, private, supportive space with your own workout program, multiple eating plans to follow, even be funny that are kid approved or husband friendly or boyfriend approved. I always throw something like that. Relate to them. Would you be open to talking more about it? Or would you be open to sharing some of your goals with me? Okay. So just, that's exactly how I do it. Every time somebody likes my post, that's a call to action, reach out and invite. So that's why at the beginning of every month, you want to make sure that most of your posts are geared towards your challenge group. Not just, I'm having fun with life and drinking the shake. Why are you drinking the shake? Not only why are you drinking, but why should somebody else drink it? And what the fuck is so different about it compared to everything else? It's not like I'm like holding up my water bottle and being like, I'm drinking water. But why are you drinking the water? And then share benefits below. Add value. Okay? So even if you want to go to Pinterest and find posting schedules, there's so many great things out there as far as like, you know, sharing morning tips. Like today, I talked a little bit about um, fad diets and carbs. How I hear when I used to personally train people be like, oh, I don't eat carbs. It's like, well, that's why you're not seeing any results. <laughs> so that's easy. Eat some fucking carbs. It's not that hard. So that's my value that I'm adding to somebody's life. And it's good value because everyone's like, woohoo, carbs, you know, they're like, 
find your little niche, have fun with it, be excited about it. And then when you invite them, because you're consistently posting, they're going to say yes, or they're at least going to be interested to hear what you have to say. And even if they don't respond, they're watching you now. They are watching you. So remember that because come March, April, and May, you want to be that person on Facebook when they think, fuck, I have a wedding. I have this vacation. I have my high school reunion, whatever. Who are they going to think about on their Facebook page? You. Okay. You want to be that go-to person. So in the midst of sharing how you're having fun, make sure that you're sharing that they can join you and that you are here to help people. Um, so on a daily to do, I'm literally just going to walk you guys through what I did today. I'm, I'm going to do that in just like five minutes. I'll do it super quick um, and kind of show you my tracking real quick. So I have made it out. If you can see this right here, I looked ahead at my days and I know that I nanny Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I know that on my long days, so I nanny Tuesdays and Thursdays, nine to five, Fridays, nine to two. Okay. So I know on Tuesdays and Thursdays, because I'm with her and I don't know how Eloise is going to be acting, I'm not putting the pressure on myself to invite. Today's Tuesday. So typically I want to send out 30 invites a day. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I told myself 15. Why? Multiple reasons. One, it doesn't give me the anxiety and I don't feel regretful for not hitting that number because I haven't hit it yet. And when you consistently aren't hitting that goal, it kind of breaks you down. Okay, so I dropped it. So I have mapped out right here what my to do or what my goals are for Monday, Wednesday, Saturdays, and Sundays. My days off from nanny. And then I have what my target goals are going to be for Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I have those written here. So then when I go to my planner every night to fill in for the next day, I know, okay, tomorrow's my day off, so I have to get in 30 invites. So I'm going to do my invites first thing in the morning because I know I hate doing them just so I get them out of the way. Okay. So this morning, how I started my day was I did my miracle morning. It was 30 minutes long. I woke up. I was silent for two to three minutes just to reflect on my day or yesterday. I read my affirmations out loud, basically saying that by the end of the year, I'm going to be a 10 star diamond. I'm going to be a five star diamond by summit. Um, I'm going to bring 10 coaches with me to summit wasn't my goal. Amy put that on me. So huh, working hard on that. Um, and then what I do visualization. So I literally drew a picture of the house that I want, what it's going to look like. I have it pictured. It's in the Dominican Republic, white, whatever, just, I visualize that. Okay. Putting my dreams in this island life that I always talk about out on paper. I worked out. I just did 10 minute hardcore from 21 day fix extreme because remember my uh, morning miracle was only 30 minutes. I read for five minutes, finished up that miracle morning book. And then the last one was, I wrote out what I just, I just wrote about my day. So I wrote about the things I wanted to get done that I'm not going to let my lazy temptation to sit on the couch with Ben tonight, take over my to-do list. That's how I started my morning. After that, excuse me, I worked out. I checked in to my groups. Okay. So I do that first thing just because today I had to post. Okay. So make sure that whatever you're starting with first is what you need to start with. Do not open your Facebook and start scrolling. Do not do it. You need, when you open Facebook, you have a plan. Okay. So my plan for this, my plan for while I was in today was friend requests, Instagram, and Facebook, just those three things. So this is exactly what I did. I will show you. Um, on, what was this last Sunday sometime I wrote out a list of 50 names, just like you girls did. Okay. So I had them all here. So today I went through and I invited all of these people. Okay. So I got all my invites done just because I could see them. They were right here. I didn't have to search for names. I had already searched for them a couple days ago. So all I did was just go down and invite. Um, let me share my screen with you real quick. Um, as you can see, I'm tracking just like Amy does. It's no different. So this is something that is ongoing. All I have, my contact list, my groups. So I know all the people that are in my current fitness group 
all the people I have in the Miracle Morning group, prospects I'm talking to about coaching, who's in Path to Emerald right now, my past challengers, like little things like this. So that what I can do then is every time that I go to invite in the beginning of the month, what I can do is click on all of these people from my sneak peek. They didn't order last month. I can invite all these people right here. All of my past challengers, most of these are actually discount coaches too. Um, and I have to update this a little bit too. Um, and I can reach out to them and say, hey girl, I'm starting a challenge group up on the 6th of March. I wanted to see if you wanted to jump back in with us, kind of get back on track. You do have to have Shakeology in order to be invited, but as you know, it's definitely what's going to be able to help you kind of push past those plateaus. You know, if I were to help you, you know, get that set back up, would you be interested in joining along with us this time? Okay, great way because if those people order Shakeology through you, you're going to get two success club points. It's blah, crazy, right? Especially if they ordered through you once, which was a challenge pack, but then they canceled Shakeology. So they were never on Shakeology HD. So they would be considered a new Shakeology HD order. Does that make sense? Okay, so you get two points right off the bat for that, which is awesome. Um, to be honest with you, if anybody does ask you about Shakeology, reach out, to, you can, just sell it. If you can't get them to join with the workout program, they will once they're in the group. The biggest reason I never pushed it before is because it, it doesn't make any sense financially, but it was only one success club point. So it's a loss for them and it's a loss for you. Now with it being two success club points, if they're that stubborn and don't want to get the workout program, whatever, they're going to join the group and immediately want it anyway. Okay. So I will show you. So just my contact list. It's super duper easy. Um, all I have here are in talking to you, I've invited you. Okay. I've invited you already this month. Red just means that you're interested and you're, you've been responding. Black means that you haven't responded yet. Okay. Invite means everyone I've sent a friend request to or a Hey girl message to, and they've responded. Okay. So I just have them listed here. As soon as I invite them, they're going to go to talking to from talking to. So basically it just goes a C E G just from these little categories here. So in talking to, if they're not interested, I'll move them to check back next month. When I check back with them next month, and they're interested, they'll come right back to talking to. If they're not interested, they're gonna go to check back in three months, okay? Again, same thing with the check back in three month people. If we start talking, they're excited, they're interested, I'm gonna put them right here. If though at the end of the month they again decide that they don't wanna join, check back next month. Okay, so just file everyone down. Invites, after I invite them, they're gonna go right to here, okay? So all I did today was, um, okay, so here's the perfect invite. As you can see, I messaged this girl in August. Hey girl, I just wanted to reach out. Thanks for sending my friend request and wish you a happy birthday. Hope you're having an awesome night. No response. One month later, hope this message finds you well. Not sure if you're big on messenger, whatever. So this was seven months ago. Mind you, I did things a little bit differently. I just invited her. I know we haven't had a chance to talk, but I invited her to my happy, healthy life. I'm not really active in it anymore, but at the time I really was, so I invited her to a free group. Remember I said, if, you, if you've said a hey girl message, they saw it. Even if they didn't respond, but they're nice, you think that they're gonna be a nice person and you actually have something in common, invite them to a free group. Maybe they just don't know why you're reaching out, you know, with the hey girl message. So follow your gut, reach out with the free group. If you feel like you don't have anything in common, you just sent the hey girl for the hell of it just to get a tally mark on your to-do list, no, don't invite them because you're going to have to talk to them and deal with their shit. If you don't have anything in common, you think they're going to be negative, don't invite them. I went with my gut here. She responded, how thanks. Um, yeah, I'd be interested in hearing what this is all about for sure. I responded same day and I never followed back up with her. That was in September. Okay. Shit happens. I clearly wasn't that organized at the time. Fast forward seven months, I sent her a voice message. It was basically just like, it was cool you know, when I first reached out to you, you were super friendly, so I hope it's all right, I'm reaching out again. And then this is the message I've sent to everyone today on my 30 invite list. Just wanted to make, so sent the little voice message. I always send a voice message first, okay? It's been seven months since I reached out to her. I want her to know I'm a human being, I'm a real person, and just like kind of 
you know, make it a little bit more personal. And I say that. Just wanted to make this a little more personal. Hope that's cool. You just seem like a chill girl and I'm all about having good vibe and people in my life. Honestly, why I wanted to reach back out. I'm not sure if you've seen any of my posts since we last talked. It's been seven months. But I love teaching millennials how to break free of the nine to five grind, rock a strong mind and body, and live a balanced, healthy lifestyle. Same if you notice, I got this from Caroline's group. I said I do this through private accountability groups here on Facebook. If I sent you a description, would you be open to hear more about it? Hey, that was such a nice message. You made me feel so cool. LML, I'd love to hear more about it. I need something like this in my life right now. Please send. To be totally honest with you, she's not necessarily my niche market. She does look like she parties a lot more than I typically do. But nonetheless, she's a cool person. She's open to the conversation. It's probably going to be, to be honest with you, take me another three to six months to actually get her to join. Um, but nonetheless, she said yes, conversation's open. So now, if I can't get a hold of her and I go to follow up, I can say, hey girl, just following up again. I know that you said you really needed something positive in your life right now. Literally referring back to the single sentence. Is there, is there anything that I can do right now to help you feel a little bit more comfortable in moving forward with my accountability group? Knowing you'll have me every step of the way. So that was one of those invites. So if you can be consistently posting every single day, the first two weeks of the month, talking about your challenge groups, talking about how it's personally, emotionally, physically, and mentally transformed your life or is transforming your life. People will join you. And if not, they're going to at least be following you. So then all those people that are following you and watching you, they're going to join at some point. You have to believe in that. And think about it. This girl might join now, and this was, what, nine, ten months after meeting her? What if I had quit? You just have to always remember that. Somebody is watching. So um, my daily to-dos today were I focused on being proof of the product. So I had my shake. I worked out. I ate healthy. I focused on my invites. Um, I'm sorry. I focused on Instagram, my friend requests, adding new people, and messaging people who liked my posts. I only did about 15 invites today. Remember, I said Tuesday's not my busy day as far as invites go because I'm nannying. So that's definitely a big piece of advice that I wanted to share with you. Um, I will also show you this real quickly how I would do. I wish I could show you this on my phone. Do you guys know how to search people by the first letter of their name on it, Messenger? You can nod. You do? Okay. So I'll literally just really quickly show you how I do that. So when you open up your Messenger app and you see all these people's names, if you can see them. Okay. So they are alphabetized by first name. All I will do is click on that. That's the worst person I could have clicked on. That was a dude. Okay, so I'll click on that, and I'm going to look at them and be like, okay, scroll back through the first couple. Okay, we, she never responded to my friend request. I can invite her for a group. Next person, so I'll write her name down. Next person, click me on Daisy. Oh, shit, she did something like a goddamn mouthful. Okay, so I clearly have to follow up with her. I would write her name down because I know that I can invite her. Next person. So I have three Ds, moving on to Fs, moving on to Ms, moving on to Ls. Let's get a list of 50 to 100 people. Invite them the first week of the month. Second week of the month, you are following up, you are overcoming objections, you are sending videos, et cetera. And then from there, they're going to join you, okay? When you hit it early in the month, guys, you're going to be on such a high that you're going to strive for something even higher. Last thing before my uh, thing ends, I did want to show you guys this. I don't know if you saw this that I posted in the Island of Warriors page. Give them their files. I'm pretty sure that's what I put it. Okay, this step-by-step -step invite script. I literally wrote this out step-by-step. -step. So everything in bold is me telling you what to do. Everything that's italicized is the actual message. Okay, so this is um, after, what did I say? Yeah, so in your initial, so this is after you said, hey girl, you might have talked a little bit about work, what they do. That's pretty much how my conversations go. Um, let me see. I know I'm kind of like jumping around a bit. Let me see if I can find somebody super simple. This is actually really perfect. If her message will open up. Okay. 
Okay. So this girl, I messaged her in August. Hey girl, just want to send some happy vibes your way. Thank you so much for accepting my friend request. P.S. Happy belated birthday. Following month, because she didn't respond. Hey, just talking about to say hi once more. Not sure if you're big on messenger. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, at the time, she wasn't active on Facebook. So I didn't really know if she was nice, if we had anything in common, anything like that. We didn't invite her. It's really hard to follow something so rigid, guys, because it really is based on each person. Some people I invite before they ever respond. Some people I don't. Some people I'll invite after a hey girl message. Some people I'll wait and I'll form them. It just kind of depends. If I see somebody posting something about fitness and health on their page, I'm going to reach out and talk to them about it. I'm not going to wait to this whole forming thing. I can get to know you once you're in my group or on my team. But her thing but then a month later was, sorry, I didn't respond. It was really sweet. I said, thanks, you're welcome, whatever. I saw by today. Again, we haven't really talked a lot, and she's not very active. So I'm not going to invite her only because we both went to pit. So I feel like we could get along well, and I don't want to sacrifice this person. Just want to stop in and send a big congrats on your teaching certification. That's so awesome. Said you're following your passion. Keep the hard work. Coach talk again soon. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks also for your fit videos. You look so good. I hope I can be as fit as you. There I go. There is my invite to talk to her about what the fuck I do. Send her an invite to my challenge group, etc. So don't sacrifice something where you think they could potentially be really awesome just to try to get the invite. If you write out a list of 50 names to 100 names at the beginning, before the first of every single month, so like this Sunday night, to do it for March 1st, you will be good to go. I promise you. I promise you. So just do it. Even if right now you take five minutes to write down five names over the next week, you're going to have the 50 names. It doesn't have to be 50 all at one point, but take five minutes out of your life right now and go to your messenger app. Write down those people's names to invite them. Share and post about it on your page. Be excited. If you're on Snapchat, share that. Post your meal planning, post your videos, you know? Even if you're on Snapchat, just show your BOD in the background. If you guys follow me, see how I do it. Um, I get a lot of people reaching out to me through Snapchat. Right there, come to, my, uh, come to my Facebook. Let's talk more about it. Just let people know that you're excited, they can join you, and if so, they're gonna wanna be a part of it. But right now, your most important, your most important thing is be the person that everyone thinks of when they think health and fitness. The time is coming, guys. Right now is the time to plant those seeds. Send out those invites. 